Hey, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just gotta suit up for this one. All right, well, hey, my name's Zim. Uh, I'm in VR too long, and this is gonna be me reacting to three new trailers I haven't had a chance to see yet. The first one, well, in order, it's gonna be Orion Drift first. Orion Drift is by the same developers as Gorilla Tag. And then we've got a, a Batman trailer and an Alien trailer. Alien's actually the oldest, but it's the one I'm most hyped for. So let's see how this goes. If you've seen these already, great. Just watch along. Um, first time, first time reactions. Here we go. I don't really know anything about this. I see monkeys in space. God damn it! I swear. No. <laughs> How far are they going to stray from their original model? Wasn't this supposed to be like lone? Oh god, it is monkeys in space. What are they doing? Oh no. It's Lone Echo, but Gorilla Tag. Or Echo Arena, sorry. The robots look good. Okay, tennis balls. Oh, they got kind of hold the Halo thing. Oh wow, this is like that gladiatorial combat game on PSVR 1. I forget the name. They're bringing in... Oh no. So it's soccer with your hands. Gorilla tag in space. Combative. Team v team. Grappling mechanics. This is going to be a hit for their audience for sure. My, my problem with this is that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sporty enough. Like I can't hack it for that. That looks good. It looks good already. What a cool tracer. teaser. Orion Drift. And what? They're just robots hanging out in space. What's the story then? It's cool. Wow. Now, Gorilla Tag. Gorilla Tag, and this is truth be told, is one I called like super early um, on F Reality this when I was covering releases. And this is your family no, Google. The you just took. Yeah, no. I love your ads, but no. All right, so that's that one. That's um, that's Orion Drift. The thoughts on that are pretty straightforward. Um, looks like the Gorilla Tag devs are in for a winner. It looks like their audience is going to be pleased with it. Um, it doesn't really undercut what Gorilla Tag offers, which is really a playground experience. And so... Yeah, I think uh, I think that's uh, that's, a, that's that's great. I'm I'm very opportune. Like I I really feel good about it because it it can captivate that um, experience that Echo Arena that we lost when when that got shut down. Okay, next up is Batman Arkham Shadow. Now I've played <laughs> all the Batman titles that um, I had originally launched when they launched, but th there really was only there was really only one. Um, maybe there was a location-based experience that I didn't get to play, but I'm not a huge Batman fan. I'll say that, right? So let's see if this is any good. Arkham Shadow. Meta Quest. All right. Show us those lovely quest graphics. This is not bad. That's pretty fair for what you would see in a, in a quest. This rat cult spreads through Gotham like a plague. Okay. I have to stop it. What's my part? Even if it consumes me. Gotham looks pretty decent. Although I'm getting vibes of the other the AAA titles that we got you. for VR. Are you not angry? Fight back. Are you, are you not angry? We are afraid of you. Okay, the bat HUD. The bat and then the quick time Jim's motion could be anywhere not a big fan of those things foot soldier in his own fanatical mob um so how in the hell do we find him targets are all city employees less immersive more Civil approachable service. public officials you could have been more than a symbol you could have been a god that's a that guy's got a big chest all right so they kept the ui quite clean Alfred, we tried it Those kind of highlights work well. Mine. Looks cool, where you can see the skeleton through it and everything. 
Something big's going down tonight. Because, like, that whole kind of style, like what they've got showing off in Hitman and stuff, where you're, you know, trying to give people enhanced powers. I like how clean they've kept the interface. It feels... Like, the HUD, the HUD could do alright. It's almost like a Solaris HUD. You know? We could be okay. Okay, so we got some special powers. Logo's sick. Yeah, the whole the whole thing there is is quite solid. Bring the Rat King to you. Oh, and vocals and characters are really solid as well. Damn. Okay. Nice. With the shadow running across the face of the quest three. Nice. Okay. Yeah, definitely playable. Um, camouflage. I forgot camouflage were involved in that. I I bloody love camouflage, man. I gotta find a way to turn off these bloody ads. <laughs> uh, good. Yeah, good. Oh, that's funny. See, that's that skyline. Um, right. So third up is Alien Rogue Incursion. I mean, Batman. I thought. Yeah, yeah. It it looks because it's camouflage. Because they did Iron Man so so well, and because it felt great. I'm actually expecting wonders out of that game now. Damn, okay, so that's two for two. The first one looked really solid. The second one looked really solid. No way we've got a triple, triple, <laughs> triple dipper here. Alien Rogue Incursion, come on. This is the one where the animation looked like crap. I really don't like that animation. It looks too soft. Like Girl Scouts. All right. Jumps on an off-centered VR capture. It certainly gives me vibes. From Alien Isolation. Ooh, will there be... Will there be weight to the shotgun? Oh, is that it? What's going on? Why, why is... Wow, they really popped those really early. Okay, let's, let's just watch that again real quick, because that, that was kind of short. Xenomorphs. So this is basically just showing one of the things you're fighting. Look at that crawl. Okay, the crawl out was really solid. The animation of the Xenomorphs is spot on. If the AI is solid, then this could be pretty terrifying. That's really hard to capture, though. All right. Plus, the whole idea of like multiple xenomorphs isn't. I'm like not crazy about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's. All right, let's think about the three now, real quick. So Ryan Drift from the Gorilla Tag Devs looked pretty solid. Like I I do feel like that was a a decent multiplayer offering. It looks like you've got different environments. Um, you're there in space, so it's it's not just a reskinned Gorilla Tag, but it's actually taking Gorilla Tag, which is more of a team-based thing. Um, it, well, no, it's, it's still team competitive. So, okay, team competitive for that. Then, if we think about if we think about Batman, I want to I want to rewatch Batman real quick, just to see that again because I feel like I feel like I might have missed something. And it is captured in engine. So you got the whole kind of scorpion pull, you got the bad accessories from Claire's. This rat cult spreads through Gotham like a plague. I have to stop it. Even those, if it consumes me. Those rats look like gnats. The corrupt system has failed you. Are you not angry? I think I'll be as satisfied with this one as I was like Assassin's Creed. Because Assassin's Creed had some pretty good engagements. Um, the HUD to me, I think, won't be a problem. I'm usually anti-HUD, but this HUD looks like, like I was saying, like Solaris, lightweight, kind of gives you the feeling like you're... Like it's AR, right? Like the whole point is, if, if a HUD feels like it's AR... Targets for all city employees. Civil servants. Public officials. The models look really solid. You could have been more than a symbol. Could have been a god. Look out! Look out! You don't calm down. 
Okay. Someone's going to die. Alfred, we tried it your way. Now we do it mine. So, out of these three, I expect that Batman, because of Camouflage's pedigree, will actually end up exciting me more than the other two games. What is that? What the fuck was that puppet? Did you see that? What was that? Hold on, hold on. What is that? There's like, there's like this like... Yeah, what is this Pinocchio thing? What is that? That's fucking weird. What is that? <laughs> they got some really eclectic characters in this. I like that. Shadow deep inside us. You're everything that's wrong with Gotham! I'm done holding back! They really feel like they've done great art direction on, on Arkham Shadow. Like, it just really feels... It really feels cool. So, look at that. Someone spent ages on doing that logo. And it is, it just sings. It's really cool. I love the graphic design stuff. Um, all right, one more thing. We're going to recap. I'm kind of zipping and unzipping this again. So we're going to do this one more time. Uh, go ahead. No, no, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to just have to live through these ads, aren't I? Ah, oh, YouTube. They love uh, sending me stuff. At least you get to see stuff in Canadian dollars. Um, excellent. Little Scotia. So, um, I think all three are actually hits uh, so far. Let's look at this again. One more time. Now that I know what's coming. So, colored space like that, aside from it being like all pitch black, smart choice. So, they're like in a nebula. Because like dark, deep, inky black is not good for mobile headsets right now, right? That aren't OLED panels. So it's smart to have the color pop. They're doing almost a No Man's Sky thing here. With that, like, the way... There's something with the music and the, how they entered it, like... And they followed the character around. So that's quite smart. So you have these little test arenas. I saw that. Caught that. Obviously the variety of, of skins for the characters. So you actually got customization for your, your, your game character. Which is going to be smart. And this is showing it really, really. It's like Rocket League. Rocket League and Gorilla Tag had a baby. Now, is that the only thing? Or are they showing us that that's one mode and then there's other modes? Yeah, it looks like there's other modes. So there's different ways to play. So they're actually potentially taking on games like Rec Room, for example. And Horizon Worlds. Yeah, see, like, there's a whole bunch of things to play. Scrap Run. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's parkour -y stuff as well. Okay, that's particularly exciting. That means they're taking on Rec Room now. Rec Room, watch out. Orion Drift is feckin' coming for you. I mean, it's gonna take a long time for them to get anywhere close. But there's big money in that. Very nice. Very nice. Meet, compete, create. They are. They're taking on Rec Room. That's fucking awesome. Oh, man. I feel so good. Nice. Very nice. I, okay. I'm, I'm excited for this now because it's more than I initially thought on my first watch. And honestly, the other two games seem solid. Wow. So we did get a triple dip. That is honestly impressive. So... Cool. Orion Drift. That's one to kind of watch out for. Batman Arkham Shadow. An alien rogue incursion. Well, what did you think about those? Took me a couple days to get to them, but solid.